Hi friends, welcome back to Rustic and Lace DIY. If you are returning, I am so appreciative of all of you. And if you are new here, welcome. My name is Brenda and this is my sweet Oliver. And we are happy to have you as well. Today I have a fun fall video for you. So with all that being said, let's get to crafting. Okay, here's DIY number one. So for this DIY, I'm going to use a plunger from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to use some of this burlap I got from Walmart. These lights I got last year from the Dollar Tree and they look like little leaves. And then I'm going to use some floral tape and you can get that at Dollar Tree or Walmart. And then I'm going to use this uh, bucket that I got last year at Dollar Tree and then a whole bunch of these leaves that I got last year. I think a few of them might be from this year, but most of them are from last year from Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to start off by putting this plunger right inside that bucket and it, it holds really well, but the plunger head, I don't know, it was kind of crooked to begin with. So I just stuck some rocks in there to keep it straight. And then I'm going to take um, one of my leaf picks and my floral tape and I'm just going to uh, wrap that floral tape around the pick and the handle of the plunger like you see right there and I'm just kind of holding it. Now I did spread the leaves kind of apart a little bit um, just to <clears throat> make it look, I don't know, I just thought it would look better if they were spread apart than all bunched up together. So once I had this wrapped, I'm going to change the uh, view here because I know that's hard to see. I just continued to add the leaves um, the and picks. So I didn't cut any of them off. I just kind of separated them all. And then I'm just using my floral tape here and I'm just going around and wrapping them on. Now, if you don't have floral tape, you could definitely use masking tape or duct tape, um, painter's tape, uh, because it's not gonna really matter because I'm gonna cover it with some burlap. So then I'm gonna, once I had all the leaves on there, I'm using my little lights and I'm just wrapping them around uh, inside my leaves here and then after that I'm taking my burlap and some hot glue and I'm just going to wrap this burlap all around that um, handle of the the plunger and yes my hair is flat no makeup I had taken a shower let my hair <laughs> air dry because I wasn't thinking I was going to be on camera <laughs> oh well um so after I wrapped this all the way down to the bottom then I just cut the excess off and uh hot glue that on as well and uh then after that I took some um what is this? Raffia. I had a bag full of raffia and I'm just, I had actually put a whole bunch of Dollar Tree bags in there and then I put the raffia on top. That way I didn't have to use as much. Now I'm putting one of these little pumpkins there, but I do um, move it or change it out to the smaller pumpkins. And the reason why is because on the next DIY, um, I'm actually going to put that on the bottom and you'll see that in a little bit. But here it is. I really think it's so pretty and I'm sorry I was going to show you a, a clip of it with the lights off but I forgot. I'm sorry. <laughs> so if you would like to follow me on social media you can find the links to my accounts in my description box below in the link tree. Here's DIY number two. Oh you guys I love this one. Okay so I'm going to use two of these small clay pots that you get from Dollar Tree. These mini ones I got from Hobby Lobby. They were $3.49 for six, but they were on sale when I got them. And then these little uh, scarecrow hats I got at Hobby Lobby as well, and they were on sale. And then my jute cord from Walmart, and then my Waverly chalk paints in the color pumpkin and sandstone, and then some more of that raffia. So I'm gonna start off by painting the top portion of one of those clay pots with my pumpkin. And then I'm gonna do the outside and the inside part of a pumpkin. And then I'm gonna do all the rest of those that you see there with the pumpkin color, all of it. And then I will do that one with the brim that's painted pumpkin and I'm gonna paint it with my sandstone. And then I'm going to um, 
draw on a scarecrow face with a pencil and then I'm going to use my Arteza paint markers to color it in. If you're new here, I am so glad you stopped by today. Again, my name is Brenda, and if you like home decor on a budget, holiday decor, thrift flips, gift ideas, then I would invite you to hit that red subscribe button and become part of our YouTube family. And then let me know in the comment box that you are new here. I love to get to know you. And if you uh, hit that notification bell and hit all, then you will be notified whenever I upload a video, which my normal upload time is Mondays at five central in the evening. <laughs> but I do like to participate in different challenges and or playlists during the week. So if you hit that notification bell, that will let you know when those times will be. And then if you do like today's video for any of you who like today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up and comment because that lets YouTube know you like my content and it will push it out there for others to see. And I greatly appreciate it. <laughs> so there I decided I didn't like the nose black. So I went ahead with my pumpkin paint and colored it in. And then I had made some little stitch marks with my black extra fine Sharpie. Here I'm using some of that fix all glue and my hot glue and I'm going to glue the two bigger size um, pots together. So it's the face and the body. And then I'm taking some rope some or my twine and I put some tape on the end so that I could screw it through the hole. And then I'm just going to tie a knot on the end so that it will stay inside the pot and not come out. And then I'm just going to measure it up to the side. This is going to be the scarecrow's arm. And then I'm going to cut off that uh, twine. And then um, once I have that, I'm going to hot glue it right to the side there. And I, oh, you guys, I love this thing. It's so cute. And then I'm going to do the same thing um, for the legs. So I did that for the arms and I'm going to do the same thing for the legs. Now I did get this idea off of Pinterest. Um, I'll put a link to the one that I, um, the inspiration piece, but I just thought it was so cute and so creative and I just knew I wanted to do this. And I'll tell you guys, it, I don't think I show it until the very end, but I put this little scarecrow on, um, that leaf tree on the pot, the, or the, bucket, the pail, whatever you want to call it, uh, sitting there. And oh, it is just adorable. I just love it together. So you'll see that at the very end here. But here I'm just uh, doing the same thing that I did with the arms. I'm doing that with the leg and then I'm just hot gluing to the legs there on the bottom of the pot. And then I'm filling the head with some of my raffia here. And this was, I didn't glue this. I didn't use hot glue. You can if you recreate this um, but it seemed to be fitting and sticking in there okay so I just got it in there like I wanted and then I'm putting some hot glue on this side and adding that hat right to it then after that I took some raffia and I got small pieces and a bunch of them and then just put some hot glue inside of the um, arms and the legs and then added my raffia and just kind of held it down for a few seconds. Um, but you can take the bigger pieces and cut them down and then I just gave it all a haircut when I was done to make it all even. And then I'm just taking some small pieces here and going around. Now I, the, the inspiration piece, it was kind of sticking out between from between the body and the head, which is what I was gonna do. But then when after I glued them on the head to the body, I realized I forgot the raffia. So I just did this instead and I still love it. After that, I took some of this raffia and I'm just wrapping it around the neck so it kind of covers the rough edges of where we hot glued it on. And I just tied a knot and then trimmed that knot down. And it kind of looks like he's got a little, you know, scarf for tie. <laughs> then I took some of this um, burlap and I just cut teeny little squares and I put one on the body, one on the leg, and one up on the head and that's all there was for this. And oh look at it. It is so stinking cute. I just love it. You'll have to tell me what you think about this in the comment box below.
Okay, so it is time for a celebration of your recreation. Wonderful job, Belinda. I love all of them. They are all beautiful and Thank you so much for sending me your picture. If you have a creation or recreation that you would like me to showcase, you can email it to me at my email address there, or you can send it to me through Facebook Messenger or on Instagram, and I'd be happy to showcase that uh, for you. And here's DIY number three. So for this DIY, I took my Waverly chalk paint in the color white and my antique wax by Waverly. I took four five gallon paint sticks and I cut them down to fit what I was doing. I took some decals, why I didn't make it one big decal, I don't know, but <laughs> um, they made those off my Cricut and then three one gallon paint stir sticks and then three of these wood hanging pieces from Dollar Tree. So I started out by removing the hangers from those wood pieces and then laying them out like you see there. And then I'm going to use my one gallon paint sticks to attach these to the back of those boards. So I'm just using my wood glue here on one side of the paint stick and then my hot glue on the other side. That way we have immediate and permanent hold on it. And then once I had all three of those done, I'm gonna turn it around and I am going to paint that part with my white, Waverly white chalk paint. I do the front and the back. After that, I took um, my antique wax and I took the five gallon uh, paint sticks and I brushed on the wax and then wiped off the excess. I did the top, the side, and all the sides. I did not do the bottom because it's gonna be glued onto my board and you're not gonna see it. So after I had all of them done, I am going to glue them onto my board. So this is gonna be the frame. And I did the same thing with the hot glue and the wood glue. I'm just going to put them on. Um, I started on the sides. I'm gonna put that one on. I'm gonna do the next side. And then once I had the sides on there, then I did the top and the bottom. And I don't know if you can see, I did write on the back of these which ones were which when I um, when I was measuring them to where I wanted to cut them. That way I knew, if, because you know all of these boards are never this right same size. Um, that way I knew exactly which one went where and that way they matched up just fine. After that, I laid out my decals the way I wanted them, and then I just started going through and uh, adding them on. And like I said, I don't know why I didn't make this a little bit different, but uh, it is what it is. So I'm not going to show you all of it because it did take me a while. Um, but once I had it all on there, then I just, I love this, and I don't know why, but for some reason I really love putting the braided um jute cord all around my picture frame on the inside so I went and did this again if you recreate this this is not something you have to do it's just something that I really like I don't know why I think it just kind of gives it a rustic finished touch <laughs> so after that I took some of my burlap not burlap buffalo check ribbon that I had and then this uh pumpkin ribbon I got from Dollar Tree last year and I'm just making two bows by doing the awareness ribbon scrunching them up and then I'm going to use some jute twine to wrap around the middle to hold them in place and then I'm going to tie a knot there and then I'm going to wrap it around the longer piece I'm just going to wrap it around a couple more times and then tie the knot again in the back and that's just to give it an, an added decoration but it's not going to matter because I'm going to put something else above in front of that <laughs> So after that, I just dovetailed the ends and then I fluffed my bow and got it all looking pretty. And then I'm going to hot glue it to the top left hand corner because I don't know if you can notice or not, but that pumpkin patch sign should have been over to the left just a bit and it was bothering me. So I put that bow there just to kind of cover up that space. Then I took one of these pumpkins that I got from um, Hobby Lobby last year. I don't know if they, I haven't seen them there this year or not, but I'm just going to use some hot glue and I'm going to glue it right there in the middle. 
And then I'm just gonna make a hanger with my jute twine. I'm just gonna tie knots on the ends and I'm gonna hot glue them to the back. And then I'm gonna take um, some parts of the ribbon that I had cut off when I dovetailed it and I'm just gonna cover the um, ends of the, the jute twine hanger there. And that's all there is for this one. I love this sign. I think it came out really pretty. You have to let me know what you think about this one as well. Okay, here is DIY number four. So for this DIY, I am going to use this uh, little give thanks word word woodward from Dollar Tree comes in that five pack um, these little pumpkins I got last year from Dollar Tree and then I'm going to use my Waverly chalk paint in the color white pumpkin and ink and then after that I'm going to start by using my heat gun to try and melt off all the glue that was holding those bows in place and it, I did kind of have to work at it a little bit but I got them all off and then um, once I had them all off, I'm going to also, I'm not gonna show you, but I did remove the stickers that were on the back of these things. They took a little bit, they were really on there. I had to even use my Goo Be Gone, Goo Gone, whatever it's called. <laughs> then I painted the front and the back with my Waverly chalk paint in the color white. After that, I went with my ink and I'm just gonna do some distressing all around the pumpkins, just like you see the ones laying there. And um, I just wanted to make sure I got it all over. And then I am going to use my white to kind, to kind of tone some of it down that got on too thick. Now, if you don't like distressing, you don't have to do this. This is all for inspiration, but it's something I like. Then I took the word and I'm using my pumpkin paint here. And I am just painting that give thanks in the pumpkin color there, as you see. After it is all painted and dried taking me a bit here <laughs> I will finish I promise it's almost there then I am going to use my hot glue and I'm going to glue the two tall ones together like you see then I took the smaller one and my pencil and I'm just marking where it's going to lay and then I'm going to use my wood glue and hot glue to attach that small one to the front and I really only had to do one thick coat of paint on these. It, I was thought for sure I was gonna have to do a couple of coats to cover up the orange, but uh, one coat worked just fine. So after I have this on there, just like you see there, I am going to hot glue the words, um, the word give thanks, the word peace. <laughs> I'm gonna hot glue that right on front there. And then after that, I just made some little shoestring bows, just like if you were tying your shoes. And I put them on the top of each pumpkin there. And then I added a couple more of these little pumpkins. And then I took some of this wired jute cord that I got from Dollar Tree last year. And I'm making the tendrils for one of the pumpkins, for that front pumpkin. And I'm just using my pin there to wrap it around. I think I wrapped it around about five times. And then I'm using my wire cutters to cut it off. And then um, I'm gonna wrap it around that small, the stem of that small pumpkin. Now, the ends of these wires, uh, or the jute cord, it's like fraying and coming off. So because I was doing that, I took, I'm gonna take my um, hot glue and I'm just going to add a little dab of hot glue on it. And then I'm gonna use my finger protectors to just kind of smush it in so that way it, stays covered this is what I'm doing here I'm just removing some of that um, wire that was sticking out and then I'm going to uh, just kind of use my hot glue to keep the wire covered with that jute and I had to do that on both ends and then after that I'm taking some twine from Dollar Tree I wrapped it around my hand about 10 times and then I'm going to take take it and smush it in the middle and I'm going to wrap one end going one direction and then the other end going the opposite direction and then I'm going to tie a knot and fluff the bow and then I'm going to add 
those two jute bows to the two taller pumpkins just to add some twine to kind of go with those tendrils that I made for the front pumpkin. And that's all there was for those. I just think it came out really sweet. It's so simple and just, it is farmhouse and I love farmhouse. So I think that's why I like it. But you have to let me know what you think about this one as well. And which one was your favorite one today? I don't know. I think I really love all of them, but that that scarecrow, I tell you, I think it's my favorite. But here is your final reveal. And again, if you're new here and you haven't hit that red subscribe button, please hit that subscribe button before you go and become part of our family. And then let me know again that you're new here. And for those of you guys who like today's video, make sure you give me that thumbs up and comment. That way more people can see my video. And by the way, guys, I just reached 9,500 subscribers. I'm only 500 away. And when I reach 10,000, I'm going to have a big giveaway and I might have something special included in that. So share this video with your friends and family. At, have people subscribe if you know they like this kind of stuff. I would appreciate it. And until then, you guys have a blessed day. I will be back again on the first with another video. So I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.